Change of the Clicks Group has reported a 14% increase in its diluted headline earnings per share. This is for the full year ending in August. Joining us is David Neal, Chief Executive of the Clicks Group. He joins, Dave, um, he joins Rehan and myself. David, thanks so much for joining us. Congratulations on a good set of results. You mentioned here in your sense announcement that you'll continue to make inroads in the health and beauty business. Uh, just in terms of your strategy, you've been doing a lot of interesting things, but your uh, what has been seen as a competitor to clicks and that's Diskem. Uh, there have been reports that they are looking at entering or listing on the JSC sometime next year. Uh, is this at all a concern? Maybe your strategic view as to how you're going to be going about dealing with this? Uh, look, uh, I don't know what Diskem are going to do. They don't invite us to participate in their strategy sessions. Whatever they do, it's not going to alter what Clix is doing, which is to remain the customer's first choice in health and beauty retail. Uh, just sort of uh, shifting a bit of tech, uh, Dave, to, um, to your UPD side. Obviously, very, very strong growth there. Um, excellent result overall as well. Just trying to get a sense of to what extent do you think that generic, um, the, the growth in generic uh, penetration in the market will sort of stabilize so that your margins in that business uh, stop declining. Do you have a sense of, 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 of when that will happen? And, and if, if it doesn't happen, to what extent you can continue to reduce costs and, and improve efficiencies to sort of uh, at least keep that margin uh, at a reasonable level? Look, UPD has had a good year. Indeed, it's had a good five years. If you look back over the last five years, UPD has shown compound annual growth of 25% a year over that time period and its operating profit has doubled. Generic penetration has uh, continued throughout uh, and isn't going to uh, go away. South Africa is under genericized. Uh, more generics are good for patient uh, affordability and accessibility to healthcare and we have to deal with that in UPD and we've got to deal with it by becoming ever more efficient in terms of our systems, our processes uh, and our quality management. Uh, but I, certainly we can't expect uh, the growth of generics to stop. That, that is just not going to happen. They're about 60% by volume of the market in South Africa. In the States, they're 80%. So we are going to continue to rise to that challenge. David Musica, you've been able to increase your sales there by 2.3%. You said you saw a strong performance coming through from your gaming and technology. Looking at this particular business uh, segment, how important uh, is it still to the overall picture? And uh, given the fact that, you know, in South Africa, we are looking at uh, broadband that is uh, not where it should be. When it does get better, is it going to be a threat to this Musica division? Look, uh, music is not the biggest part of the Clicks Group. It's not a core part of the Clicks Group, uh, but it's a profitable brand. It produces a very good return on assets, and therefore that's how we manage the business. I believe there's going to be room for an entertainment retailer for many years to come, uh, and that's the role that music has in this country. It has commanding market shares now. In terms of your question on broadband, there's an interesting stat in the US. Uh, sales of vinyl records in the States uh, now are bigger than the combined sales of every digital streaming subscription service. So I think you're going to see music around for many years to come. Just in your core retail chain uh, on, on the click side, can you just give us a bit of color in terms of your, your pharmacy operation versus general merchandise? Are you sort of seeing a, a, a general merchandise, so for example, with a weak ran, you're having to sort of um, keep price increases in check and, and margins come under pressure versus the, the pharmaceutical side? Is, is, that a, is that a fair kind of assumption from our side? Uh, no, not really, because I mean, a big part of general merchandise is confectionery. Uh, is, so it's not just uh, a small electricals. And bear in mind that we've been exiting uh, parts of our traditional general merchandise business in order to focus more on uh, health, beauty and wellness. But if you look at uh, electrical appliances, uh, we grew our sales by 5.7% and we took an extra 150 basis points of market share. So I'm pretty confident that Clix is a value retailer. It knows how to trade in these economic conditions. And if necessary, we will resource. I mean, as you should know, the China economy is slowing and there are opportunities to buy better uh, in Asia. David, thanks so much for joining us uh, live from our Cape Town studios. David Neal, Chief Executive of the Clix Group.